Hello and welcome to the art of cooking. So in this video you're going to see this huge chunk of meat which is called top round or bottom round. This chunk of meat weighs about 30 pounds or 13.5 kilograms and it's going to be processed into smaller pieces. It's lean and has little fat in the middle and it's located near the buttocks. This part or it cuts is where the cow perform a lot of extracurricular activities if you know what I mean. This part is usually the cheapest meat in terms of per pound or per kilogram basis. So what does that all mean? It means that if you're looking to build muscles, want more bang for your buck and your wallet, so you can spend more money on booze, blings, and whatnot, then this is your choice of meat. Although I do have to warn you that this meat is a little bit tough compared to other cuts. But no worry, as I have a solution for you and that is sodium hydrogen carbonate plus dihydrogen monoxide. Aha! I threw you off, didn't I? In plain English, it's basically baking soda plus water. So as most of you know, the primary building blocks of muscle tissues and of meat are proteins. Proteins, in turn, are made out of amino acids. By contrast, baking soda is an alkaline ingredient which will react with acids. When you sprinkle meat with baking soda or marinate it in a liquid containing baking soda, the baking soda and the mildly acidic meat will react with each other. The reaction breaks down the chemical bonds within the protein molecules, causing them to loosen or denature. This tenderizes the meat. Okay, enough of me rambling now. As you can see from the beginning, he trims off the excess fats and now he's trimming off the membranes of the top round. There is probably about 7 to 9 pounds or 3 to 4 kilograms of fat. Now why do we use this cut? Well, the short story is that not many people buy it or use it to cook due to the toughness of the meat when it's cooked. Even if they do manage to use it, the process of cooking will be low and slow. To get that tenderizing falling off the meat in your mouth meaty texture effect like for example slow roasting or braising which means the demand is low so there's excess supply and when there's excess supply the price of the meat goes down that's just basic economics obviously as a restaurant owner you want to buy the cheapest meat possible but also the quality of the meat has to be good okay so now the long story well, the long story is, we love butt. Okay, so that's not really the long story. But the long story is, top round actually tastes really good. Uh, if you ever had roast beef, you'll understand why it would taste good. Uh, even though it's cheap, but it tastes good. So right now, he's cut it into individual slabs or pieces, like what you get at a supermarket. Uh, each, each one weighs about 3 to 4 pounds, or about one and a half kilogram now if you look closely you'll see that it has little probably no fat in the middle unlike sirloin or prime ribs you'll see fats in the middle this one it's all lean meat so which is why it's good for building muscle or you know staying lean so i'm going to stop rambling and shut my mouth and let you watch the rest of this video So this is the end. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and my commentary. Uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, opinions, or whatever is in your mind, leave a comment below and rate. And as always, thank you for watching this video.